I'm Jane King at the New York Stock Exchange, and with me is the CEO of Neonk, Amir Heshmatpour, uh, to bring us up to date on what the company is doing in brain cancer. So it's a fascinating, kind of a, a new delivery method and fascinating studies you have going on. So I'll let you set the stage and then we'll, sure, I'll ask you um, some questions. Thank you for having me here, Jane. Uh, this is the first time I've been at the uh, NYSC. But yeah, well, we, are a, uh, we are a brain cancer company. We trade on the NASDAQ global markets under NTHI. Uh, this is the largest brain cancer platform out of USC Keg Medical School. We have 179 patents worldwide. Currently we have four clinical trials going on. Uh, three of them are in phase two. One of them just started. We got approved to start the phase two. So three in phase two and one of them is in phase one for pediatric brain cancer. It is the first company that delivers the drug via intranasal delivery. So you put a uh, nebulizer and you inhale the drug. So precision medicine, it bypasses the blood brain barrier and it accesses the brain tumor. We are fully enrolled at our lead asset. We expect the readout on NEO 101 in the next six months. And we are fully enrolled in uh, NEO 212. That's expected the phase one readout in about 50 days. So that's uh, the NEO 212 uh, is a uh, Merck drug, TMZ, had went off patent. We took that, we bioconjugated it with NEO 100. It's an oral form, uh, and uh, that will be for all brain cancer. Our uh, NEO 100 is for gliomas, and uh, that's the intranasal delivery. Then we have NEO 100-02 for meningioma, and the NEO 100-03 for pediatric. These are all rare diseases. Uh, we have a fast track designation. And we just reported uh, a couple of days ago on an 8K that you're seeing 24% of our sample size is seeing total tumor remission under a radiographic um, tumor remission. So the data looks very promising. Like I said, we're right around the corner mm -hmm. for our phase two readouts. So this was early data that looked promising, and now you're going to phase two. What's the timetable for that? Uh, we should have the phase 2A readout uh, in, in the next six months. Okay. So since we have a fast track designation, we'll see if uh, we're going to have to do a phase 2B or full phase 3. But we feel with the current uh, data and the safety parameters around it, well, this will be our last phase, the 2B. And we've also filed a, um, the new, uh, the Trump administration's a new program, Priority Voucher. Mm -hmm. So we filed a Priority Voucher um, recently, and we will, um, once we have the 2A data, um, we will see if we will be approved for that. We are getting commercialization ready, the packaging, the commercialization, the manufacturing, we're getting all that stuff ready okay. in the, this next six months waiting for the readout. And since this is not a, um, a blind study, it's an open study, um, we feel very confident that it's going to read out. FDA has told us that uh, what they're going to be looking for is how long we're extending life. Okay. And we're extending life uh, three times higher than any drug out there that are suffering with the worst kind of brain cancer. Mm -hmm. And so um, we're very, very bullish on the data. So, and the, the nasal delivery of this is unique, right, in terms of this, in terms of brain cancer. So the nasal delivery is novel. My partner, Dr. Thomas Chen, uh, invented this at USC Kig Medical School. He is currently a neurosurgeon at the medical hospital in USC. He's a professor of neuro-oncology, and he also holds a PhD. He runs the uh, labs that uh, has developed all the patents, all the technology. He's a truly an amazing individual. He overlooks the science. I overlook the uh, capital markets and day-to-day uh, -day and corporate governance. And uh, the intranasal delivery is uh, an amazing um, technology that he's discovered. Our focus is brain cancer because that's been his focus last 35 years. Um, but I believe that in down the road you'll see 
that uh, we will start looking at the other CNS diseases, Parkinson's, dementia, and so on and so forth, to deliver the current standard of care drugs much safer, much better by internasal delivery. That's amazing. Um, so previously, I guess, was this an injection or? Previously, current standard of care, uh -huh. all of the chemo drugs are oral. Okay. So you take it orally. By the time it gets to the brain, only a very small amount of it gets up there. Okay. And it's very toxic. Like uh, mm -hmm. if you look at the, all these chemo drugs, right. they destroy everything as they're getting up there. So we're bypassing the blood-brain barrier through the first and the fifth cranial nerves and um, directly delivering the drug to the tumor. Is it a, a daily? Uh, okay, so that, that's how often? So um, it is a daily usage. You use it four times a day okay. by intranasal delivery. And um, we're going to get through the um, approval first, and then we're going to fine tune the nebulizer and the timing, how, how many uh, minutes you use it per day. Mm. So currently, you use it four times a day, so 20 minutes each session. But uh, we are, uh, Dr. Chin's currently in Taiwan, I'm talking to a, um, a large uh, nebulizing um, manufacturing company. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are more than likely will fine tune our nebulizer, we'll make it smart, you know, where it will report the data through Wi-Fi to the doctor, to your neurosurgeon as you use yeah. it, and it'll reduce the time from 20 minutes per session hopefully to much less. Okay, now in terms of the patients, are there early stage, late, which ones seem to respond to this the best, would you say? So uh, unfortunately, uh, our patient sample size are the uh, grade four. Okay. Uh, so nothing has worked. Mm. They've been pretty much sent home to pass away or uh, to a hospice. The data looks so good on the face uh, in grade four patients that we went to FDA, showed them the data. They started allowing us to enroll grade three. Okay. So we're enrolling grade four and three IDH1 mutated uh, glioma patients in our NEO 100 uh, trials. And um, I, I can't emphasize more on the current data than what we've reported. The data looks amazing. Mm -hmm. It's uh, doing God's work. And uh, I credit Dr. Chen and what he's done for the yeah. past 35 years oh, okay. around neuro oncology. For sure, it's, a, it's amazing. And you mentioned the priority voucher. So is the promising early data why you were qualified for that? or The early data, um, we haven't yet been qualified for that. We've applied for the uh, priority voucher. Oh, okay. It's a new program. I think there's only been nine companies that have been um, approved so far. I think we're the 10th company uh, from what I've heard when we filed the application. But it is a, a new program for companies that are discovering unmet needs mm -hmm. that have game-changing data and okay. game-changing technology, which we, we are the first mover in internasal delivery. Uh, our data speaks for itself. We filed, um, we filed a 8K several weeks ago that showed 21% uh, radiographic remission. We updated it two days ago. We had more people uh, that showed radiographic remission. Now we're at 24%. And I believe as our sample size increases, the percentage is gonna increase. Okay. So next phase is, is 2B, and, and you're hopeful to have this marketed by next year? By um, sometime next year? We are very hopeful that uh, with the data, and the priority voucher and the fast track designation, we will be approved. Now, uh, we have to execute, of course. We have to execute uh, getting the drug commercialization ready, the packaging, the shelf life, and all that. Um, and we're doing that. Uh, you know, we've executed. Uh, I, I went public on March 26 on the uh, NASDAQ Global Markets. Um, it was during the Liberation Week. We opened up at 18, the stock traded up to 25 and it pulled back. During the tariffs, During yeah. During the tariffs, tariffs yeah, liberation yeah, week. And uh, since then, you, you know, it's tip, like a typical biotech company, uh, we pull back. But uh, having said that, uh, looks like we're getting wind behind the, our sales in biotech sector. And data's king. I think with, with our readouts, uh, you should see our stock significantly higher than where it's trading currently. How can somebody follow the company, the clinical trials, you know, your stocks, everything? So our, our symbol's NTHI. 
Uh, we are uh, traded on the NASDAQ global markets. We're also on the Russell index, or Russell small cap index. We got put into that uh, shortly after uh, we went public. Uh, all of our clinical trials are transparent on clinicaltrials.gov. You can see everything that's going on. Uh, we're expanding our footprint through university. Currently, we're across 10 university hospitals across the U.S. We're opening up uh, NYU Langone, Harvard, Penn State, Duke this uh, in the next few weeks. And uh, we're expanding our trials in Middle East, in UAE, with the Cleveland Clinic uh, and uh, M42 and Iris, which is a Mobadla company. So we're executing. Uh, we feel that. Uh, in 2026 is going to be in a stellar year with the readouts. And uh, yeah, well, I, I'm just excited about the, what we're doing in the brain cancer world. Well, well, best of luck because um, this is, you know, wonderful for, for people who are uh, victims of this disease. Yeah, so. I, it sure is. I, I lost m m my wife's um, brother passed away mm. uh, at six. So this has a uh, important calling for Sure. Me. Well, thank you so much. Please keep us up to date. Thank on you so much. How all the trials come through. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you.